This is Jim Amter, Van Allen & Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with the crazy closing grain and livestock comments for April 12, 2019. Core market today up one, beans steady to down one, Chicago wheat up four, Minneapolis down one to two, Kansas City up three and three quarters. On the week, corn down one and a half, beans down three and three quarters, Chicago wheat down three and a quarter, Minneapolis wheat up nine and a half, and Kansas City up three cents. Really, when you look to the week, week export sales overall this week kind of uh, culminated uh, what looked to be a positive week. Uh, still, we were able to get some decent settlement out of Minneapolis wheat due to a late week rally there. But all in all, the week export sales, less than ideal weather, and kind of a mix of both bull and bear news kind of leaves these markets scrambling and want, desiring more before it takes on a direction. It does feel like we're solidifying some bottom type action, the KC wheat as well as the corn with nice rally backs on Friday and to finish firmer on the day for those two markets. But uh, we'll really have to see next week what the weather forecast trends are to really get an understanding. We'll need to continue to keep an eye on African swine fever and the development and the lack of demand that may come as a result in the corn and soybean meal markets. But for right now, we've got a tug of war between the bull and the bear and kind of stuck at neutral here, at least for the near term. We do see uh, weather being a bit of a nuisance here, especially for the central and northern plains. We've got a cooler and wetter undertone coming back here again uh, next week before it begins to dry down. And with field work to be done and flooded and wet situation, folks, this could be a little bit of an acceleration here in the coming weeks. We'll see if that develops. Otherwise, undertone, uh, some good technical at least hold at this point. Now we need to see some follow through. Feeder cattle on Friday, steady to uh, up a buck. Live cattle steady up a buck. Hogs steadied up a buck. So our Friday trade was pretty uh, mundane across the board uh, there with the deferred months being the stronger tone. But on the week, feeder cattle down 72 and a half, live cattle up 50, and the hog market up 27 and a half. 124 live trade in the south, 131 in the north. Exports really not good this week for cattle, and that was kind of the, uh, the culprit to not allowing us to follow through here uh, to any large degree. Managed money uh, continues to be record long, uh, cash fading a little bit, and that makes cattle look a bit tippy or top heavy at this juncture. Would not be surprised at a setback, and then possibly a regain of strength that we can see exports show back up. On the hog sector, African swine flu, or fever, excuse me, uh, continues to be the major focal point here. Some reports as high as a third of the hog population in China will be cold by the time this is all said and done. Uh, so that will be something to watch here as you work ahead. Exports extremely strong this week, and that's what allowed that board to build back late week and carry through here with a stronger Friday close. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.